I came across this table of carnage. There is a Mr. Potato Head around somewhere with no eyeballs. This could be a problem for him. Hopefully, they'll get reunited. It is right about one hour before this Goodwill closes. And I'm probably crazy for going shopping when I should be packing. But you know what? That is the beauty of my business being something that's also a stress reliever. I love shopping. And so I'm going to reward myself with just a very short shopping trip. And of course, I will film it so you can come along with me. So better get in there. Time's a wasting. Let's go see what we can find. And uh, I always say I'm going to be picky. I always say that, right? I'm really going to try. All right. Let's go in and see what we can find. Right inside the door, I find this little stack of these Japanese dishes with what I, I call the rice pattern. I mean, they look like little grains of rice. And some of these can do quite well. And I really, really almost picked these up and then just thought, I just don't want to deal with dishes right now. So I will leave those for somebody else. It's all good. And I saw this chalkware sheep. Looks like it belonged to a nativity, but it was all by itself, just one little sheep. So I did leave that behind as well. See, I said I was going to be picky. I'm trying. Doing pretty good on this first shelf. And kind of just looking. I see the dachshund. I see it. I see it with the little chained puppy. But there was something about it that just seemed off to me. It did have a little label on there which was not readable and what made me leave it behind was that it was pretty chippied up. Pretty chippied up. Both pieces of it were pretty chippied up. And then I spot this wild cat. I don't know. Could be a tiger or a leopard or whatever and some of these animals can do pretty well but again I'm being picky. It's like leaving the iridescent ladybug behind. Pretty proud of myself at this point. And then I spot this. Um, this is a little cookie jar in the shape of an old radio. And I don't really like shipping cookie jars, but it was a 1995 by Van Dor, and it's pretty darn cute. And I can't remember ever seeing a radio cookie jar before. Now, I was looking. I thought that was a chip. It's not. It's like a little, like it got scraped on something, and the paint came off on the cookie jar. So I did grab that. And this, I thought, was Blue Sky Clay Works. I really thought it was, and I was just about to grab it, and I thought, mm, I better check, because I watched Yvonne Thrifty Rich almost pick one up, and that's when I was alerted to the fact that there are some knockoffs of Blue Sky, blah, 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 Blue Sky Clay Works. That is one of them. So that got left on the shelf. Thank you, Yvonne. I might have been a little hasty and put that in my cart otherwise. This is a cow, obviously, and I loved it, but his ear had been surgically <laughs> reattached, which is a no bueno. So we left him behind. That is made in Taiwan. I did like that rooster candle holder thing back there. And I did really like this other little canister guy with the cows on it. But oh my gosh, this thing was so heavy. 
heavy, heavy. And I don't really have a place for it. I mean, I would have been buying it for resale and because of the weight, I left it behind. And I was really tempted by the big ginormous apple, except they wanted $15 for the big ginormous apple. So that made that easy to leave behind. This fish reminded me of one I got at a yard sale, but that one had a broken tail. This piece is really cool. I don't know, I'm kind of wishing I'd have got it now. Um, it's a candle holder shaped like a set of logs. You put four, eight, like 12 little tea light candles in it. I did not take it. See, I'm being good. I'm being good so far. Not seeing anything here in the wood section that's really pulling me. I see these coasters look like Labradors and they wanted $3.99 which I thought was just that's just a bit too much to pay for a set of not very high quality coasters even though they had dogs on them and just a very tiny bit of Christmas stuff left on the shelf surprisingly now I spotted this and it says made in Poland and what's cool about it is that Christmas greenery can come out and be replaced with something else. It can be a seasonal piece which I thought was pretty darn cool so I did grab that and I also spotted these old TV trays down here. They're Courier and Ives and they are in the four seasons. There's winter, and then I think I will show you that there's fall right under there. Yep, there's that. I'm still looking at the price. They were $3.99 each, was a little more than I wanted to pay. But all four of the seasons are here, and they were pretty cool. There's spring, and there's summer. All right, all there. Really good shape for the most part as far as the front. So I did grab those. Little bunny had a big chip. So I didn't even look any further on that one. And I spot these wall art. <laughs> I was very intrigued by these. Those are rats. So you put the little rats anywhere you wanted. And there's some other little Halloween things and spiders. And uh, they were cool, but I did leave those behind. And this Christmas tree was by Nordic Wear. And it was cool. I think maybe a month ago I would have grabbed this, but I'm just over Christmas. Just don't even want to deal with any more Christmas right now. But I will grab these because Easter is coming and the bonus on these little chicks is that they are Department 56. So those will definitely sell. Very pleased to find those. And just looking at some of the crystal. Nothing exciting. On to what they call the wood shelves. Now, I thought it was interesting. This coconut was carved with a pair of birds. Not something you normally see. Normally, normally you see them carved into monkeys. And this bowl was interesting. Had this been signed, I might have picked it up. But the fact that it had no signature on it made it not as desirable for me. That's nothing, nothing too exciting on these shelves tonight. I wasn't sure what this is. Some kind of a game and it had cards in it. I didn't look any further. Always feel free to tell me if I made a mistake and left something behind that you would have picked up. The shelves were a little boring tonight. That big bugle again a month ago, I might have looked closer at that. 
It's got a very Christmassy vibe to it. Now these I really liked. <laughs> it's not often that you find bells in the shape of acorns and uh, so yeah I picked those up. Very unique. Like little door chimes they would hang like on a doorknob. And you can't hear me ringing them but I'm ringing them. But I can't have the real sound on because, well, Goodwill's music is just far too loud. I thought this art was a little intriguing. It looked, you know, it's it was somebody's art that they did. There was three pieces of it. Maybe on another day I might have picked that up, but I did leave that behind. I actually really didn't look too hard at the art. I just don't need any more right now. That said, Imperial China, nothing real exciting. It's going to take a lot for me to grab any of the dishes at this point. Because I'm being picky. And dishes just aren't really my thing unless they're super special. And now I did check out the swizzle sticks because sometimes they're little animals and little animals and little animals interesting stuff can sell for some pretty good money, but those were just kind of plain. All right, I am not seeing anything exciting in the dishes. Now I did pick up this dowdle puzzle made in the USA, and my thinking on it is that Rachel and I will make that puzzle, and if it's there, then I'll sell it. Looking at the coffee mugs, the Grateful Mug was kind of intriguing, but really this is the one that he needs to go home with me. It is little embossed kitties with a little pink one there that says meow. That one came home with me. But there's really not anything else exciting, so we'll put kitty in the cart. I mean, I went back for another look after I put Kitty in the cart, and but nope, just nothing, nothing there. So now we look through the glasses. Again, when I'm looking through the glasses, I'm looking for either something very, very like quality looking that might be like a Waterford um, or some vintage or colored, hand blown. Uh, this thing, I, okay, I think somebody just stuck that on top because it was the same color, although it almost really kind of fit. But they were priced separately, so I'm like, no, it doesn't really go with it. But does it? I don't know. What do you guys think? Kind of does kind of go together, but I'm not sure. And again, I'm just looking and nothing, nothing is jumping out at me. Not a darn thing. And somebody had their cart parked right in front of that row. So I had to kind of look from the side. And the other side over here has a bunch of clear glass stuff. And I spotted this little apothecary jar. And I liked it with the little fleur-de-lis pattern. But... What concerned me is that they had taped over the, what I think is paint, and I was so afraid that that was just going to come right off if I took that tape off that I just, I just didn't want to deal with it. I left it for somebody else to deal with. And I thought these were fun. Uh, they... They were, looked like little marbles glued on there. Very colorful, very bright. And they say bedazzled on them. I might have picked this up had it not had a word on it. Had it just been, you know, the little colorful bottle. And I did put them together closer to the front. Then I spot this little um, set of coasters with birds. They are vintage. But 
Yeah, two ninety nine just seemed a little steep for me. And then this creamer was kind of interesting. But again, I'm being good. I'm being picky. And I was attracted to these napkin rings. Now, they are all inlaid abalone with the red. I mean, they had a very unique look to them. So I did go ahead and pick these up for $1.99. And I went back to take another peek at this picture that it's a nice picture but it really had a lot of cloudiness that can be called sick glass and sometimes you can't get that out and I wasn't really in the mood to have to worry about it now this was here the last time I was in this store and I was so torn about buying it then and here it is again it's still here it is the coolest piece but unfortunately it's got some pretty bad chips so and then this doesn't even go together. I, what are they thinking? Oh my goodness. So, nothing ended up in my cart from this shelf. I did spot this little canister. It had a very Fitz and Floyd look to it. Not sure if it was because there's a sticker, but it had some pretty significant chips. And so I left that one behind too. I have sold one of these before and I don't remember who the maker is. I mean, it's signed on there, but I couldn't read it. I still can't read it. It's kind of interesting, but not enough for it to end up in my cart. And I'm kind of looking through all the metals. And then this, I was so excited. This matches that jackrabbit basket that I have. And I was going to buy this until I noticed that they wanted $12.99 for it. Nope. Chicken goes back on the shelf for $12.99. I was a bit bummed. I really like the chicken. Now we are over in the planters. And... I thought I spotted a cut to clear glass and it wasn't. It was plastic. It fooled me. Yep, nothing else. Although I did spot <laughs> the funny little smiley emoji face back there. Looking at the clear. I thought this had an, a unique look to it a little interesting but again I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself I'm being picky yep I'm gonna walk away from the clear glass we'll look through here a little bit but nothing nothing's really calling to me lots of modern stuff just mediocre this was a bag of blocks but I didn't know what they even spelled out and then I spotted this this is pioneer woman I can just tell you can just tell and I did stop to look this up because some pioneer woman still sells really well and this is one of them this little muffin pan should bring about 30 bucks so I did grab that even though it was eight dollars and then there was a cart of new stuff coming out, but it was all books. Here it was a, a wax warmer, but again, missing the top dish. Kind of drives me crazy. Nothing in the lamps or the lampshades. Got a toodle over here to some of the textiles and I come across these. Now I knew what these were because I found these before. Well, not this. Stand by. I'll tell you what I'm talking about in a second. But I did think this was interesting too. It was to quilt a tree skirt. These. Okay. I had found very similar to this in San Diego and they're Pier 1. So I'm like, oh, yep, there it is. Pier 1 rhinestone placemats. Now, 
They're $3.99 a piece, which made me a little squeamish. But single ones of these are selling for like $25. So I grabbed all eight of them. Now I will have to attach the back onto that one. Fortunately, I found it. Just a little glue. Rachel can help me with that. And uh, so, yeah, I picked them up. And then this guy was just too cute. He needs a little cleanup. He's, he's been loved, uh, but he was only a buck 49. He is Disney. He is from, oh my gosh, what is it? A pet's, is it a pet's life? What is the pet's movie? I think that's it. No, I'm not looking at his butt. I'm reading his tag. What are you thinking? <laughs> okay, he's in the cart. He's coming with us. Okay, resellers, don't do this. Don't just go look stuff up and then throw the stuff back on the shelf. Super annoying to see that. It gives us all a bad reputation. And there's Barbie's jet. What I ended up with in the cart, found a few flowers for myself, and uh, I think I did good at being picky. So now, go be profitable and make it fun, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!